welcome to the first episode of this Capitalism Lab series. We are going to be playing with all the DLC as of February 1st, 2021, as well as the Real World mod, so everything should be updated accordingly. We're going to be playing a custom game. Really, I think my goal for this game is... I'll, I'll go in more into depth once we get started here, actually. So, I forgot which logo that is. I like it. As far as the environment, um, we're going to start with very low capital. A lot of this I'm not really going to touch. This seems to be fine how it is. We're going to start as a private company and hopefully IPO to raise some cash later on. Start with 40 competitors. I think a lot of these settings should be challenging enough, at least for now, with about half of them being private companies. All of the DLC settings seem fine with these presets. I'm not really going to touch them. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, the product settings are probably good as well. So, we are beginning. Super shots has entered the game. Um, really, I think my goal for this game is to try to show what's kind of what you can be capable of with all of the features in Cap Lab. I think I'm going to do that through real estate and then hopefully dive into banking or insurance. I haven't really messed around with any of the DLCs and honestly, I'm just a college student, so there's probably a lot of things that I don't know, but I played the game enough where at least hopefully we can function uh, <laughs> and we'll go from there. But to get started, here's what I'm thinking. We have about five mil in cash. I'm gonna take a look at these other companies that we are up against. Okay. I think we just need some cash coming in. Honestly, easy way to do that is building some sort of apartment. Oh, I don't know if we have the... Yeah, the lands. That's pretty costly. Uh, okay. So before we can get an apartment, it looks like we're probably going to go with some sort of retail store. Um, honestly, a general... It's not horrible. We might try to go more niche. The business shop. That could fit with what we're trying to do later on in the game. Um, this could be a good kind of hub to start us off. We want something with some decent traffic. Mm. Okay, this is this looks like prime real estate. How about that? What are we gonna sell? There's no suppliers in our current city for any of these products. What I'm thinking, wow, there's, well, we don't really know how much demand there is yet. Um, you know, honestly, we could probably just dive right into insurance and go from there. And hopefully that'll provide some sort of cash flow where we can end up opening some apartments in the city of Craig. So let's just try home insurance and health and let's just leave it at that for now. See what that does. Start the sim. Okay, ran out of cash as expected. Uh, can we borrow anything? Honestly, probably not. No, I think we have to IPO <laughs> before. <laughs> before we even actually set up anything. Our stock will be dirt cheap. Yeah, that's honestly really, we can't even issue bonds at this point. Uh, looks like we're in an IPO. That was quick, but had to be done. Um, honestly, as much capital would be nice, whoops. Say 30%. Raise about a mil. At least that'll hopefully get us operating. It's not ideal, but 
what else can you really do? So with that million, pause the game. Okay. This should start generating decent. Yeah, okay. The man is good. Hopefully that should start generating some profit. Um, with this million, I'm probably going to look to invest early on and try to come away with a nice uh, momentum trade here. Or snipe. Or scalp, if you will. Um, I found early game. I mean... A lot of these companies will either flatline or spike just from initial investment and expansion. It really doesn't it really doesn't matter which one. Let's just put it in Starbucks for now. This is again a risky play, but a lot of these stocks are dirt cheap right away, so. I'm going to sim forward. Cash should start to come in. And we really just need to raise enough for that first apartment because that's basically a free income stream. Amazon opens an insurance front. Got some competitors already. Okay, our little insurance shop is uh, is doing quite well. Bringing in revenue, starting to take some market share. HP launches a printer. Tachi launches the R radio. Made about 100k on Starbucks. Still holding. How much is a, uh, we need probably about six mil, right? Including land costs. I don't know if we could take out a loan now, now that we IPO'd, I don't know if that helps a credit. Uh, could issue new shares, but I mean, we, uh, no. New bonds? No. Can we borrow? Okay, that's a decent credit limit from Walgreens Bank. Honestly, that could jumpstart kind of this uh, real estate empire that we want to start forming. Let's do that. That'll be a nice cash inflow. I don't know if that's going to be enough, though, right off the bat. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I really have to sim forward, build up this cash. Making some decent money, at least on this one little shop here. The demand seems to be very nice. Full demand for both products. Our overall rating is about 40 points higher. But that's good. I think that's a fine first maneuver. I don't know if there's, is there a university in this? Honestly, if we, honestly, all this land should appreciate pretty quickly. Just with all of these kind of public service areas. Airbus opens, it's a mansion already. Okay, I'd like to see it. Okay, we doubled our investment on Starbucks. That should be enough, at least, for our first apartment. We are going to sell that. And we have about 8 mil to work with now. Okay. Ah, just out of reach. Okay. Sold a little prematurely. That's fine. I think we can let this build up. Again, I think that'll be a more stable income than uh, even this little shop. 
A long ways away from a bank, that's for sure. A lot of competitors popping up. Starbucks is surging. How super shots? Okay. <laughs> Stable. You like it. Generating almost a million in operating profit, which is pretty respectable. At least lifetime. I don't actually know how where this number comes in. Um, because it's not monthly, I don't think. Right? I'm not sure. Bond market. Yeah. Um, let's see. We could put this back in the market and try to make a quick return, but I don't know how far off we are. It's first apartment. Honestly, I need about 10, though. I say we put this back. What has kind of been trading sideways that we could get into right now? With a decent E. CCB. Maybe. Or L'Oreal. Losing 30 cents a share, 10 cents a I mean, at this point, it's kind of a gamble, but I'm feeling pretty confident. We can buy 5% of the stock. It's not a big deal. Hopefully, that will help. As well as this cash continues to flow in. A lot of competitors here. I want to try to snag some of this real estate before it gets kind of too densely populated. Looks like we're going to have some competitors in the insurance industry, which will be interesting. Mm. Oh, we can almost... Have... Yeah. Speed this up. Okay. Up about two, three mil actually. Wow. Okay, it's really taken off. Okay. Let's get out. We'll take a gain. Honestly, it's kind of just taking advantage of the system at this point, but so be it. Cash that in. We have around 12 mil to work with. That should be enough for our first real estate unit. I think, okay, police station right there. This could be a nice area. Right across from the police station. And there it is. So we're going to see what percent of occupancy we can get to and make adjustments on the rent. I mean, right now it's just, I think about the stable cash flows and not necessarily the highest return at this point. Um, is it SARS? No. Oh, there it is. What am I missing? 8%. Something tells me you should have more than that. We're going to sell this at a steep discount, at least until we get up to mid-90s. And then hopefully that income stream. And honestly, we might make more off the land than we will even <laughs> the actual payments of rent, at least right away, while things continue to grow. Up to about 90 and so on and so forth. So we have about 3.7 mil in cash. I'm kind of deciding what to do with that. Um, now that we opened up our first location and we've hit 100% occupancy, we can increase the rent. Ideally, I mean, 
if I could try to build some other units around this to make this area more attractive, I will, but I think that should come with the AI and just the city expanding on its own. So I'm not gonna really touch that now. Still 100%, we could probably raise this. Okay, now it's, okay. So we know where the competitive rate will be. Sitting around 97. Okay, I'm gonna go back to 90. Hopefully that'll take us up to 100. Maybe not instantly. Okay, it does. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to get off the highest speed. Our first two units are officially operating. Super Shots is, er, is stable. Uh, selling insurance. Still way above the overall city average. And we're making decent margins. Somehow we're not really taking as much market share as I would like, but the demand's there, so honestly, that's as stable as we could hope for. And again, that was really just a starting event anyways. We're over a million bucks in operating profit with around four mil in cash to work with. What is next? Let's see. I think again, we're gonna try to play the market and then purchase another unit because the appreciation of the land value, especially early game, we want to take advantage of that. A lot of these stocks, though, I mean, shooting up like rockets <laughs> after their IPO. So we got to be careful. Panasonic. Looking for something that's kind of stayed, stayed flat that we could potentially get into. Oriole still, maybe. CCB is really taken off. Wow. Imagine. That's too bad, but what can you do? Some massive returns. I mean, this is unreal. Yeah, L'Oreal is kind of flat. I mean, this could be a, a nice value play. I don't actually know what they specialize in. And we find that. L'Oreal. I just found it and then I clicked off of it. Where did you go? Okay. Um, I wonder if I can see the firm overview. Oh, where did they go? There it is. What do they own? Okay, one of these units is profitable. Oh, that's a factory. Okay. Oops, I just clicked off of something, but oh well. Um, Let's see, do they have retail stores? They do. Are they specializing in, is this a toy store? How do I tell? I think that's, I think those are toys. Um, I mean, honestly, it's a gamble, but Panasonic, Panasonic is taking off as well. Let's get into that instead. I'll put about four mil. So, oh, okay. Put a little too much in there. <laughs> um, we're gonna sell some. That should be enough. Okay. My bad. Got a little too ahead of myself. Okay. Hopefully that helps. We're, we're continuing to grow our operating profit at a fairly decent rate. This first apartment, which is at 100%, can upgrade this to 90. Try 95. Dude, that does. The gain in land, I mean, that's what I mean. 40% gain in a year. That's pretty unreal for real estate. But again, early game, it's something you can take advantage of. And our little store here is still chugging along. We don't really expect this to be a high growth store. It's just more for stability and cash flow at this point. I think my next play will be probably another unit somewhere. Okay, is that a university? Oh, it is. Somewhere around the university would be nice. So as this area continues to kind of expand out the in the uh, in this northeastern region, I think trying to land an apartment would be nice. I think they would be pretty high in demand especially we can just sell at a discount at first because again we're playing this um the game of stable cash flows 
So that will be the next play. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Okay. Stock is doing that bad. General Motors coming out with capitalism. <laughs> Interesting. Up around 30% on Panasonic. Is what we like to see. My character slowly building wealth in super shots. Owning around 70%. Though honestly, if we do need to raise more funds, we could always sell more stock, but I don't want to do that yet. Interest rates are increasing. Okay. Do we still have a loan? Oh, 5 million loans. Eh, we'll probably just keep it as insufficient cash. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, we might have to <laughs> issue some new shares a little earlier than we wanted. But that would... Uh, that's going to be... This would really help our cash flow, though. Honestly, I'm not too concerned with the stock price right now. I don't really... It's not a big factor to me. This is going to be a pretty heavy dilution, but I think we need the funds. So we issued those. Stock price will probably tank and take a hit. It's fine. We got six mil to work with. I think that could be... Ah, uh, no, we still don't have enough. Probably should have issued a little more. We raise some debt. Issue some discount bonds. Oh, I don't want to buy them. <laughs> oh, these are treasury notes. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Oops. Oh, wow, we can raise a lot of money, actually. I only need 10 mil. I don't want it too over levered. But for real estate, I don't know how much that matters. I'm going to start with 10. About a 5% coupon. Okay. That's doable. Now we got some money to work with. We might be able to actually afford one of these nicer apartments. No. Land is, oh wow, already too expensive just around the university. Um, ooh, right on the corner here could be okay. That's some expensive land though, but right by the university, it's probably as good as we Yeah. We'll see what that can do. <laughs> I already have a gain on the land. So that should help. Hopefully that'll put us over two mil. I don't know though. Still at 100, raise us back up to market rent. Our little insurance shop. Still going strong. Got a, okay. One smaller competitor there. And that should climb. Don't have a lot of cash. But. It is what it is. Another interest rate hike. That's fine. Honestly, that's probably better for the debt we issued. Is this? There's a high school way out here. Okay. Honestly, expanding over here in time would be nice. We're only really going to focus on one city at first and try to kind of dominate this urban area we already have a lot of competitors you can see but again real estate i think is the most user-friendly way to get started especially since i'm not an expert player by any means another firm selling our shares okay let's see 
getting a little bit bumpy, as expected. You know, honestly, I don't really know kind of the roadmap to actually form a bank. I just figured we need some sufficient cash reserves as well as some sort of cash flow. I don't think we're anywhere near that point yet, but a new chairman with inflation hawk. Okay, it's fine so far. It's not a big deal yet. I don't actually even know. Um, I might try to take advantage of some political parties as well, donating. I don't really know kind of how they operate or how best to go about that. But as you can see, I mean, there's a lot of options with all these DLCs and I haven't even explored close to the full amount that's, that's available in this game. But it's very interesting kind of learning as I go. Sixteenth in real estate, man. We're just not generating enough cash to really expand rapidly. But I mean, it's consistent. Is that Walgreens? It is. We're probably gonna end up closing this down as this deteriorates. Just because I, I we, I could spend money on branding, but. I don't know. As the city quality starts to rise and our rating kind of deteriorates or stays flat, I mean, this is still profitable, so we'll keep it. But obviously, as competition takes over, we're probably going to look to get out just because that's not really our niche that we want to focus on yet. Banking would be nice just because, again, very reliable streams of income and we can target different types of clients. I just think it would be really neat. I don't actually know how to check who else is in real estate. I can find that. Okay, these are actually pretty good margins <laughs> for insurance. Pretty decent. Okay, this is nice. Um, gross profit hitting about, or operating profit at about 2.8 mil. Very encouraging. I think both of our apartments should be at 100% capacity. They are. And this is at the market rent. So honestly, we might be able to charge a premium. So we'll return around 7% a year at the moment, which isn't horrible. Our land's already appreciated 54%. And we've only had every year. Again, I want to try to get in early to a lot of this real estate uh, as quick as I can. So I mean, raising cash is probably the number one priority. But... This is good, this is good. We're growing our monthly pro, oh, this is monthly profit? Monthly, uh, oh, operating profit over the past 12 months, okay. That's good, we like that. Let's see here. Do we have anything invested right now? No. We just have bonds that we need to pay. I don't really wanna, uh... You know, I could, <laughs> I could have my CEO buy a mansion or something, but I think it's a little too early to celebrate. Not yet. Our empire isn't big enough for that. Starbucks. Wow, a lot of competitors in the city. But that's what you get when you play with 40, so... Should have seen that coming. I'm going to try to raise this to a premium of 105 and see if that affects the... We want to take advantage of this high demand. Rent attractiveness is obviously low, but again, like... If you see this convenience, we're right next to a university. I think we can scam some of these college students that are looking for a place to stay. Okay, we got about five mil in cash. I'll probably make one more transaction and then call it quits on this first video. Hope you enjoyed the content so far. We'll see where we can go. I don't have enough, and honestly, the land cost is probably the biggest expense anyways but i think we got a good setup this is a good first video i think we laid the foundation sitting around 2.7 mil in operating profit around 5 mil in cash 
two apartments at 100% capacity, as well as our little insurance shop that started it all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be back with episode two shortly. But thank you for watching and see you next time.